Hello, this is David Birch at Starpath School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on using uh, ship reports, ship observations, uh, global ship observations in uh, OpenCPN. And, uh, and there's various applications of these ship reports, but, um, and I'll just do one now uh, just in anticipating the... Um, anticipating some changes. For example, let's say the vessel's right here, sort of uh, in this part of the Caribbean, here, and let's say um, the latest weather fork, and, and also let's say it's 20Z. So it's right now 20Z. So that means the 18, the, the, the forecast maps come out on the synoptic times. So the most recent one would be 18Z, 18Z, but it takes about three hours to get the maps. So at 18Z, if you went in right now and got the latest grid file, the most recent one would be 12, 12Z. So that's uh, sort of an interesting time when you start might start looking at these ship reports. And what this is uh, leading up to, and I have some other notes on this, is we have a very convenient way that you can get these ship reports and drag them right in and put them right into OpenCPN. You request them by email underway, and they come right back to you. So if you look at the latest map, let's just, and this is it. This one is... Uh, See, it would be 12Z. I did this. I did, it's a little later than that right now, but I downloaded this map for this region at 20Z, and sure enough, 12Z was the first one that's there. If I did it again right now, and I can even do that, well, I won't now, but if I did it again right now, right now it's about 21Z, so it's probably time that the... Uh, 18Z would be available. But here, here's just an example of using these uh, ship reports. So at um, this is at 12Z. So we can do several things. We can anticipate what's going on in the neighborhood. But this is what the forecast is. And then you can step through that. That's 12Z. And then let's see, if you look right in here, here's the wind speed. Six. This two BF. That uh, I think that's probably Beaufort force, but here's the knots. So you see the wind speed and knots. You read there. So this area is reading like 17 knots, 16 knots, 15 knots, 18. Right in here is like 15, 15, 17 knots. And then that's at uh, that's at 50. See if you go back to 12Z. It's about the same, maybe a little stronger. Then you go up to, you know, 18Z. You're still about the same, 15, 16 knots, uh, 21Z, 15, 16 knots. Okay, so that's a sort of what the models think the winds are in this part of, in this region right now, 15 to 17 knots. So now we can go, uh, let's close that. Oh, no, wait a minute, I don't necessarily want to close that. I just want to move it aside. Now we can go up here to this, uh, the Waypoints Manager. And no matter which screen you're on here, notice down here there's an Import GPX. Doesn't matter. So you click Import GPX. And then I'm going to show how you get these. But here's then the ship reports for that area. It, well, it's a ship reports for 300 miles around this area for, at 20Z. These are the ship reports for the past six hours over uh, 300 miles around this point. That's what you can get easily by email from us. Okay, then you just open that. And that's these, these, these then are loaded in here. And they're default to show. You have to shut them off, but they're going to default to show. So you turn them on. So then here now are the ship reports in that area. So again, it's within, let me hit the M key. Um, see, there's 300 miles right there. See, so it's, that's uh, the range of uh, ship reports that were brought in by this email request. 
And um, so you see here at 18z, if you look at this, and, and the, way that, the way these work, here's the whole point I want to do, the, the open CPN will put them right in the right spot. It'll label them with a ship number, which you also get a text report of these ship reports. You get a text report and a GPX report. And then uh, it's got the time of the report. So if you want to see this when you just click it, and then that will be the data will be down here. So here, here we see something interesting. This was not 15 knots at all. This ship was reporting 25 knots at 18Z. And then once this is open, you can just click here. Now we're on ship two. This guy is reporting 20 knots. This is 17Z a little bit earlier. Uh, What's he got? 21 knots. So that's the whole point here. That if you look at the ship reports, you see that throughout that region, the, the latest GFS model for that region was quite a bit low uh, in the actual wind speeds. And so that's how these import here. Then you can, uh, if you want to get rid of them, you can save them or get rid of them. Or you can just come here and click one and say Command A. Or no. Uh, well, just hit the top one, then go down, shift, click, and then delete, and you're there back out of there. So that's a way to look at these ship reports in uh, OpenCPN and using them just to evaluate, uh, evaluate the forecast in a way before the next map comes out. And here is, uh, here is a place where you, where you can request these ship reports. By, it's a free service, and it covers the entire world. And uh, this, this, this page here on the internet shows you how to get those.